Hey everyone, good morning to you. How are you doing today? It's always great to have you here. So you're welcome back to Kamai Star International School. So let's go get it started. So here we are. Yesterday I sent you uh, an exercise on your Facebook wall where you've got to deal with uh, articles. A and and the but i'll be focusing on a and n as you can see you use a or n when you don't specifically know something or something is not mentioned before when you don't know something or something is not mentioned before. For example, a man crashed into a tree. A man crashed into a tree. You know, crash, you know. Maybe the person was driving and he crashed into a tree. An elephant can make a loud noise. A loud noise. So here we're looking at when a thing or something is not mentioned before. That means when it is not said before. Okay? So here a typical example is a man crashed into a tree. We never knew about the man before. So that's why we're just using a man that have never been mentioned to us. And a tree that was not mentioned to us before. An elephant can make a loud noise. An elephant can make a loud noise. You see here we're using N to talk about an elephant because it starts with what E, which is a vowel sound. So here can make a loud noise. It's never mentioned before about what uh, we want to talk about the elephant. Okay? So in one way we can use the article or uh, the articles A and N is when you don't know specifically something, when something is not known or mentioned to us before. The second way we can use uh, articles is we use A before a noun that starts with a consonant. I told you about consonants so many times, but good enough today, I have it, all the consonants written out for you to see. You remember your 26 alphabets. So we've got your A to Z. But you see here, A is excluded from the consonant because A is a vowel. So A, E, I, O, U. These are our vowels. So the consonants are the ones that are not mentioned here. And they are A, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, or Z. Example, a dog, a friend, a student. You see the D, this one starts with D, which is a consonant. This one starts with F, which is a consonant. This one starts with S, which is a consonant. Now you know what consonant is all about. So the third way we can also use uh, the article, and is when you use N before a noun that starts with a vowel. So when we use N, then that means the noun must start with what? A vowel. And here, our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. For example, an umbrella, an idea, an apple. You see U, umbrella. You see idea, I. You see apple, A, A, E, I, O, U. So this is how we use our word, article A and N. This you've known before, two and three, but the one I didn't tell you before is when 
you don't specifically or especially or particularly know something or something is not mentioned before so you can use a to study for example a man crashed into a tree an elephant can make a loud noise okay also here we were warned or this one you see it is an exteris so we have to take note of this one they say while choosing a or n while choosing our a or n which uh, our articles you should pay attention to how you pronounce the word okay for example our it starts with a vowel so we say an hour you see here even though this one this word starts with what h which is a consonant but because of the pronunciation of our you see the voice the sound is an a sound which is our it starts with a vowel so we say an hour you don't say a hour an hour so majorly or most times we have to look out at how the noun is pronounced so that will give us an idea of what we're going to use the article if we have to use a or if we have to use what and so when the sound it sounds like a vowel here i see this hour sounds like as if it is a it is hour so that is why we have to use what and to start it an hour also another typical example is university yeah, you have university it starts with university you see so we have to use what it starts with a consonant so we say a university but the sound is the sound of you so we use what it starts with a consonant so we say a university university so we have to start this one with what a because the sound is what g, g university so even though this one starts with what a vowel we have to say a university because the sound is what is a consonant sound so we have to use a university and not an university okay this other one is uh, the, but I'm not going to waste time teaching you about this. Maybe we can talk about that later. Let me not get you confused with so many stuffs. So we're focusing on what the pronunciation of the words. And also uh, here we talk about what our vowel, A, E, I, O, U. And here we talk about our consonant. Then we start any now that we will start uh, nouns with a if uh, the noun is uh, started with any of these consonants then we use an if it starts with what a vowel a e i o u and also when we are we don't know something or something is not mentioned before we use what a or n just like here a man crashed an elephant can make a loud noise okay without wasting any much ado let's go and take a look at uh, the picture that I sent to you where you're supposed to use A or N to answer the questions. So I will do the correction for you quickly and then we'll move over to the next uh, stage. So yesterday I sent this one across to you guys to deal with. See, I've got strawberry, which is A, because it started with what A, S, which is a consonant. Here I've got what? An orange, because it starts with what? O, which is a vowel, a pear, a pear, an avocado, an avocado because it starts with what A. And you see here we've got uh, an apple because it starts with what A, a plum, a monkey, an elephant. It starts with E, this one starts with M, which is a consonant, this one starts with P, which is a consonant, this one starts with A which is what a vowel so we started uh, we had to use what and here again you've got a parrot a dolphin an anteater an anteater you've got what a snake 
a clown, an operator, an operator, a magician, an actor, a cook, a teacher, an eraser, a pencil, an oral, and here a notebook, an acrobat, a pallet. Okay, so this is the correction for the exercise I sent to you yesterday to do. So you will check on this and make sure you correct yourselves before joining me at the Zoom meeting. So with that said, let's quickly go over to our reading section. So like I told you yesterday, we have to make sure that we can all read this because it surprises me why many of you cannot afford to read or even pronounce words like dog or like food or can and meat. So that is my reason for insisting that all of you must be able to at least read these uh, articles about pets and animals from the beginning to the end before we can get started with our books. So let's, let me one more time go through all this because I'm going to ask you to read again just like I did yesterday. So I'm going to read now so you listen carefully. I am a dog. I like to play fetch. My favorite food, my favorite foods are meat and bones. I can bark and wag my tail. I'm not going to repeat the question because I've already told you how to answer questions. What pet is this? It is. What does it like to do? It likes to. What is its favorite food? Its favorite food or its favorite foods are or its favorite food is. What can it do? It can. So now we've got another one again. I am a cat. I like to scratch. My favorite foods are fish and milk. I can jump high and hide well. What pet is, what pet is this? What does it like to do? What is its favorite food? What can it do? Then to the next section we've got, I am a rabbit. I like to jump. My favorite food is carrots. I can clean myself and hide well. What can it do? You see here they use can. You see it can clean itself and hide well. They also ask you about the favorite food. Say its favorite food is carrot. They also ask you what pet is. They say it is a rabbit. What does it like to do? It likes to jump. Okay, let's go to the next one here. We've got, uh, we are goldfish. We like to swim. Our favorite foods are pellets and flakes. We can explore our environment. We can explore our environment. Goldfish, swim, favorite, pellets, flakes. Explore our environment. Here again, we've got a, I'm a tortoise. I like to play. My favorite foods are vegetables. I can smell with my throat. Throat. Vegetables. Favorite. Tortoise. I am a parrot. I like to talk. My favorite foods are seeds and insects. I can be very colorful. What pair is this? It is a parrot. What does it like to do? It likes to talk. What is its favorite food? Its favorite foods are seeds and insects. What can it do? It can be very Colorful. Okay, that is going to be all about it for the reading section. But I'm not going to let you go without taking you over to 
my work brought section where we have to look at uh, other animals as well. But let me first of all check how much time we've got. Maybe I'm going to end the video here or maybe we'll do a little bit more reading before uh, ending this video. Let's go take a look. Okay, one more reading. As you can see, this is for the kindergarten. That's why I'm so particular that we must get this sorted out before moving on. So here we've done this before, but I'm going to do one more time because we're going to read this. This is a lion. It is a large animal. It likes to hunt for its food. They are carnivores. Lions have four legs and a tail. They are brown. Male lions have a brown mane around their head. I read one more time. This is a lion. It is a large animal. It likes to hunt for its food. They are carnivores. Lions have four legs and a tail. They are brown. Male lions have a brown mane around their head. This mane means this one you can see around here. See, call it mane around their neck. Okay, let's not make this video to be very long. I think it's okay for now. I just want it to be like 20 minutes. So this is going to be all about it for today. And when you join me, we're going to take it from where uh, we stopped. So after watching this uh, video, this is going to be the exercise that you have to do. So you have got the uh, articles A or N. Choose the correct article. I'm going to, is it a concert tomorrow or a concert tomorrow? Number two, my boyfriend is, is he an actor or a actor? Number three, her cousin has a very good job or a very good job. Number four, that was an a interesting game or an interesting game. Number five, she is a honest person or an honest person. Number six, we had a really good time yesterday. We had a really good time yesterday. Number seven, bring a umbrella. It is going to rain or is it bring an umbrella? It is going to rain. Number eight. Tomorrow will be a hot day. Or tomorrow will be a hot day. Number nine. Mary is a good friend. Or Mary is a good friend. Number ten. I want to eat an apple. Or I want to eat an apple. Okay, so that's going to be all about it for today, for sure. So I'll be ending the video here, and uh, I'm going to see you when you see me. So we can take it from where we left off. Okay, goodbye for now, and see you soon.